What's going on, YouTube? And welcome back to Aromatics. If this is your first time, my name is Zadib. Consider hitting Neeb. Excuse me, I'm a little bit under the weather today. But uh, consider hitting that subscribe button. Got some, some cheapies here. Uh, I put my nose to them about a week and a half ago. And I just remember first impression was like, how much are these again? So yeah, I want to jump into it. One of them, I distinctively remember what it uh, smells like. It actually smells like an Arabian Oud fragrance. So we're going to jump right into it. We're going to talk all about the good stuff. So um, that's what at least two of these are. Genuinely good stuff. And considering that they're in stock right now, all of the links that I have down in the uh, description, they're still in stock. I don't know how long they'll be in stock, but they're like 23 bucks. So let's sniff them if they're still as good as I remember them to be, or, you know, whatever. And if they're BS, then we'll call them like we see them, right? Assalamu alaikum. How is everybody doing today? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today, I decided to rock Ishaqat al-Layl. So if you saw that reel, it was today. Stronger with you, Oud, by, import, uh, by Fragrance World. Uh, yeah, it is what it is, okay? And I actually just recorded a full review. So sometimes this is how it goes down, right? I'll do a first impression if there's something that's worthy of a full review. I'll consider it. I'll see the reviews, the feedback and all that good stuff. I love your feedback. If you guys leave comments, I promise, although I, I can't get, it's not humanly possible for me to get to all of them. I read them. I skim through to get an idea of like, what are people wanting to see? Cause that's what this channel is about. It's about you guys. So if you ever see a fragrance, first impression, don't hesitate full review, please. And I got you, man. That's that's what I love to see. So both of these fragrances, although I didn't really see many like, oh, let's get a full review. I felt like they were worth it. And so I just recorded the full review of these bad boys. I'm just going to tell you guys right now that this one's a 10 out of 10. Okay. This right here. It might be for around 50 bucks. It's called Al Fakhir. It has the same name as that Latafa version, except this is uh, for men uh, except instead of boys. But uh, <laughs> you know, that one's for men too. But uh, Givenchy's Gentleman Reserve Privé. This stuff is fire, bro. Straight up, like uh, it might be like slightly uh, docked in the refinement category, but you guys know I love my iris and that's what this one has. So that was my sense of the day. Go ahead and drop yours. Hope everybody's doing well. I am feeling under the weather, man. Unfortunately, I tested COVID positive, but we're doing what we got to do. I got my little mug full of tea here. And not only that, but there's a reason why they call me the Middle Eastern Fragrance King because I'm here eating dates and sniffing date fragrances, okay? So I'm actually, I've been snacking on this, Ma'mool. If you don't know what Ma'mool is, y'all, please do yourself a favor and grab these. This is the best brand. It's like pastry with dates filled in it. And then if you go to like your, your local uh, Middle Eastern market, you can find more specialty ones. This is the same pastry, except it's like pressed with pistachio and nuts. And on the inside is dates. Freaking love dates. So check it out if that's up your, 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 uh, your alley, not the other thing. But anyways, so another thing is that when I was sick, I was on Joma shop and I was doing some some shopping retail therapy. <laughs> and I bought a freaking watch of all things. But yeah, I did it. And I usually rock my Rollies and like I'm into like real time watches, but I wanted something as a beater and I'm like always wearing gold. So I decided, you know what? There was a watch I saw with Arabic numerals and I fell in love with it. It is a Seiko, but it is what it is. I don't re normally rock cheaper like this, but it's good as an, as a daily beater. And I genuinely like this one. I think it's going for a pretty good deal. Check it out, you guys. So it's a Middle Eastern or Roman numerals. Uh, and it's also automatic. So you don't have to worry about, you won't have to worry about um, batteries or anything like that. I think I picked this up for like 170 on Joma Shop and it's still for 170. I put the links down in the description. Even the day, it's dated in, in Arabi. So it's in Arabic. It says uh, Sunday or I could have sworn it was in Arabic. But anyway, I have to, yes. So it has both, Al-Ahad. So here, let me show you guys really quick. So you'll see, it says Al-Ahad. Come on. Come on. It's there. All right. Anyway, I thought it was pretty interesting, so I picked it up. I still got to adjust in. This will be my daily beater or whatever, gym time, all that good stuff. Um. So yeah, let's go ahead and start talking about some of these fragrances. Let's connect a little bit and see what's going on. Thank you for the get better wishes. I appreciate it, man. What's going on, Dan Brown? Appreciate it, Mo. Thank you very much. Dates are so good for you. I love it. Mamoul is crack. <laughs> I used to eat uh, pitted dates, just date paste, man, with some coffee. Fire. Yes, I agree, Muhammad Khalif. <sighs> Ode Spice Extreme I got from Dubai, bro. Bro, whoa, <laughs> yes, 
<laughs> yes. All right, this is hilarious, you guys. This legitimately looks like Spice Bomb Extreme got like just squished, man, and turned into this Ode Spice Mark and Victor, but I swear to God, this stuff. Okay, it's been around for a long, long time. The fact that it's this good and got discontinued after a year is a damn shame, but it's back, and my God, I loved wearing this bad boy. Loved it. Um, but yeah, man, Ajayab Dubai is delicious. If you like super sweet coffee fragrances, yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Brooklyn. I appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. I do enjoy the watch. I think it's a pretty, pretty good uh, daily driver for sure. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, man, I, uh, I work in the field. I got away without getting COVID for like three years or since the pandemic. And then all of a sudden it hit me. And today's day five. And I'm honestly like one of the worst days. So I felt like, you know what? Let's come on. Let's talk a little bit. I've got a lot. Uh, can you please tell me how many sprays with Latafa Esed? Because I got it. It doesn't seem as strong as Khamra. It's not as strong as Khamra. So you have to kind of just get over that, bro. And I mean, Vasu, spray it as many times as you think you don't want to spray it anymore, bro. <laughs> there is no one number, bro. If you're asking me how many times I spray it, I'd probably go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's honestly, that's probably what I would do with that said. Try it out, bro. Stop at 12. See how it goes. If that doesn't work, go four more. It's not one way or the highway, bro. It's and it also depends where are you going. If you're going to the office, you're going somewhere where you can't be that loud, you might not want to do all that, right? Harmony Code Intense that's one that I didn't do a review on fully because it's the performance. The performance on that bad boy, I got like four or five hours, it wasn't enough for me, so I was like, I'm not even going to. Uh, the video or the short that I did was off initial impression, but total longevity about four to five hours. So, I mean, for some people, it might be worth it. For some people, it won't. That Spice Bomb Extreme is next for the fall. Hey, bro, I swear. It's it's about 80 to 85% close, but it's the best thing that gets even remotely close to it. I mean, I sniff it and I think right away, Spice Bomb Extreme. Uh, the only thing is that the syrupiness of the vanilla that you're going to find in the vanilla of the uh, Spice Bomb Extreme, it's not as dense. But I mean, come on, bro. It's like 50 bucks. Discounter, you're going to get the original for like 80, not even 89, like 98 bucks. Not bad, bro. Best $100 cologne for the winter and work for a 16-year-old? Honestly, try Stronger With You, the original. And that's less than $100 on discounters. I say the original because it's the most playful of them all. It's lighter. It's an easier DNA, but it's nice and sweet. It smells very good. I spray it on my nephew. He's like 14 years old. And every time, like, it's compliment city. I remember one time I didn't even know he was wearing it. He came over. He was 14 years old. It's like, what are you wearing? You smell really good. Stronger With You, the original, for sure. Check that one out. Milano Privé or Royce Black? I cannot say that Royce Black, I enjoyed the wear. I cannot. That's another fragrance that I'm probably not going to fully review. So I'm letting you guys right know right now. Royce Black's quality, I did not enjoy it. Off initial impression, I really liked it, but I wore it about three days ago. And I can't I can't say that I, uh, that I really like the quality of it. Something cheap. Milano Privé should be on the way. But uh, Milano is like I had the original Milano, and it was actually really good. One million clone. So we'll see. All right, we're going to jump into some of these soon. What are your thoughts about a chaos in the ocean? I don't have that one either, brother. I usually don't go for like salty aquatic fragrances, but I'm making my way towards it. There is no fragrance that I don't want to review because it's, I do review even the ones that I'm not particular towards. It doesn't, uh, you know, take away from what it should be a review. I know Midori, Midori. I think it, it is going to be remade, but... Uh, Givenchy play intense. I got you, brother. We'll relay that. And also, if I wanted to buy only one cheap clone this winter, clone, one cheap clone this winter for somebody who's 16. Somebody who's 16, honestly, go with um, Armoff Odyssey Mega. That stuff, YSLY EDP. It's actually really good. It's right neck and neck with uh, the winner of Sheikh Shiuch, the final edition for YSLY EDP. So let me show it to you, buddy. Armaf Odyssey Mega. And this one I got from Best Brands Perfume. But you can find it in a couple of other stores. I'll take a couple more questions after this. And then we'll jump into the content. So here you go, bud. Uh, share this tab instead. Come on. Come on. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This browser is messing up again share screen 
Don't do this to me. Mm, it's doing it to me. Okay. So I'll just show you on my my little phone. A little. It's pretty big, though. Huh? All right. Armaf Odyssey. Odyssey Mega. This fragrance right here. Okay. It's called Armaf Odyssey Mega. I'll put it down in the uh, text as well. Odyssey Mega. I think I'm going to stop using Google Chrome. I don't know what's going on. Every time I try to use it on StreamYard, it's giving me problems with... It's just the... Uh, uh, what is it? Google Chrome and StreamYard. It's For the last month, it's just been a, it's been hell. But it's okay. We can still get through it. All right. Let's go ahead and get it. Do it. Cheap, versatile scent for this winter. I mean, personally, for me, Spice Bomb Extreme is versatile. But it might not be for you. But I would honestly recommend the dupe of it. Ode Spice. Mark and Victor, um, versatile, versatile, versatile. Let me see what I've got here. Honestly, this is another good one. And, uh, I think, uh, another channel spoke about this F Le Parfum. This is instead of YSL YDP, it's the YSL Le Parfum, a really good one and very versatile or even Afnan's 9 PM, man. Really depends on what you enjoy, brother. Blame Neeb, everyone. <laughs> God bless you for the super chat, bro. I appreciate it, man. Yes. The lunchbox thermos. Thank you very much, Dan Brown. Apex from Fragrance World. Yeah, that stuff is great. Stuff is great. Uh, you think a 17-year-old can daily khamra or is it too feminine? I don't think it's feminine at all, honestly. At the end of the day, it's whatever you like. I've gotten so many compliments from women wearing khamra. So it's like, it is what it is. Um, it, it depends on you. Like, do you like the way it smells? Signature scent? I would, if I like it that much. Sugar Dude Invictus Victory OG is decent. Not loud, but gets the job done. Invictus Victory is decent. But yo, the Victory Elixir slept on. One of the best Elixir releases this year is Victory Elixir. It takes the original, adds patchouli, I think, and amber or something. My God, it's so good. I've gotten so many compliments on the one day that I wore that fragrance, for sure. I have a little puny 1.7. I'm going to go by the big boy, for sure. Um, what juices do you think is good for Florida? Like I said, that Armoff Odyssey Mega is great for Florida. Um, if you have cooler nights, there's this fragrance right here. It's Gucci Guilty Black. Uh, it's a Gucci Guilty Black inspiration. And I would recommend the Rosasi version, but that one is just nuclear stuff, bro. You're going to gas everybody out. This one is moderate. It performs like the original almost. It's called Anna Asali. Let me, let me type it in. It's from Mason Day Arabia. What up, bro? How you doing, man? It's called Anna... I saw Lee. So you can find the website down in the description. I've got all of that good stuff. Unless you find it somewhere cheaper, go wherever it's cheapest, bro. But that's what it's called. And it's by, who the hell is this by? This is by Riffs. Riffs Perfumes. Riffs. R-I-F-F-S. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the content. And we're basically going to talk about the Rue Broca fragrances. I've got almost all of them. They're going to be, uh, one of them was introduced in the Clone War. And today we're going to talk about the cheaper ones as well. Under 25 bucks, let's go ahead and start with the first one, which is going to be Intense. So I want to pull up the notes. Rue Broca Intense. And we're just going to jump right into it. Please allow me to share screen. It's not going to. Okay, cool. So notes for this fragrance. Let's see, I'll pull it up on my phone. Looks a lot like Leighton. I don't know. Geranium, apple, lavender, sandalwood, amber, patchouli, cedar, moss, and musk. So Rue Broca Intense. So this one's going for about $23. This is what the box or the bottle looks like. The bottles are a little bit, uh, you know, rinky dink looking bottles, but it is what it is. So I'm going to show you guys the notes really quick. This is what we're working with. So we're working with, ah, come on. See if I can get that the screen to show it. Nope. Nope, it's not going to show. All right, sorry, guys. I tried. But anyway, so top is geranium, apple, lavender, sandalwood, amber, patchouli, cedar, moss, and musk. The takeaway from all of this is how good does it smell? Here we go. Comparisons of this fragrance are to... It smells very nice. There is a lot of comparison to Pure Excess by Paco Rabanne, and I can definitely see it, but... It does smell a little bit sweeter than that, or it smells. So there's comparisons to Pure Excess by Paco Rabanne. There's comparisons to Invictus Victory. And for me, it smells like a little bit of both of those. 
definitely close to that uh, Invictus, uh, the pure excess. The geranium apple, it's not that crisp. It's not too crisp. Lavender kind of softens it out. Creamy woods, it's definitely got this wet woods vibe to it too. This is a great fragrance for 25 bucks. That's the takeaway from this. Rubroca's Pride Intense. Honestly, scent profile wise, it even treads in like a category of like, I can feel like the, the base or the dense, like the, the base of this fragrance might dry down similar to Cedrat Boise. It has that same wet wood citruses vibes, but a bit more bubble gummy. And that's why it goes more towards like the Invictus DNA. Honestly, for 24 bucks, it's awesome. It is awesome for 24 bucks. So check this one out. It's called Rue Broca, Rue Broca Pride Intense. So if you like pure excess, you're going to like that one. So let's see. We're going to also rate these one, these in order as to like which one's best and which one's not. Next one I'm going to crack into is called the Poor Ohm. So if I'm not mistaken, I think that this is a sub-branch of Afnan, or if not, yeah, I think it's a sub-branch of Afnan, by the way, the Rubroca line. So Rubroca Poor Ohm. Here's the bottle. So this one's a black one. They're pretty similar. These are the differences. One has the, the gray plaque and one has the black plaque. And then on the notes of this fragrance include, what? Why is this saying the same thing? Okay, there is a, what? <laughs> What's going on? Okay, um, it's saying the same notes, but it's definitely not. I remember what this one smells like. This smells like Azaro's Wanted by Night. And there is hardly any dupes of Wanted by Night. So this is definitely uh, better than this one. This is still good. Still good. There's something vanillic in here. And that's why I don't I, like that. It's confusing. There's something definitely vanillic in the uh, intense. Intense is like, okay. I give that one about a seven. But this one, let's see. Let me remind myself. This is the poor home. Here we go. Better in my opinion. There's something more attention grabbing. There's that clear cut apple. There's actual geranium in here. Yeah, this actually has the notes of apple and geranium. I really don't think that the notes were accurate for this one. Because this one was more like soft, sweet. There was some de definitely some vanilla, but I did detect some wet woods as well. This one, however, it smells like Wanted by Night. And Wanted by Night is one of my most complimented fragrances. But there is a little bit of a soapiness to this one. So even though it smells like that category of fragrances, it smells a step down, just a step down in terms of like scent profile, not even quality so much. I mean, it's not like the best quality in the world, but for the price, it's very nice. Porom is definitely the first one or number one. Um, I would give this one about an eight and a half for cheapies. Cheapy realm, I would definitely give this one about an eight and a half. So pride, uh, Porom, Rubroca, pride Porom. Last one we're going to talk about, and this one is is great, great stuff. Um, it smells a lot like an Arabian Oud fragrance that I do have as well. And I'm going to tell you guys about it. Let's see. My Oud. Do they even have notes? Rubroca. They don't have notes on this one. Rubroca. My Oud. I don't see any notes on this fragrance, but it is what it is, okay? Um, Parfumo has a couple of notes. This is what it looks like, and it looks a little bit different than the other ones. No notes. Okay, no biggie. So this is what the box looks like. A little bit different. On the back, some information, and it slides off. The bottle of this one is a little bit bigger as well. Or let's see. Actually, no, it's not. Same thing, but you see the coloration. It's got this ombre effect. And this one I actually really enjoy. This is a great oud cheapie. Here we go. Distribution on it is actually not bad either. Let me show you guys. I don't spray it in my, my tea. Not bad. And here we go. This smells really freaking nice. This smells a lot like... Woody Style by Arabian Oud. A lot like it. 
a lot freaking like it. It's like a softened out, slightly animalic oud with some watery qualities. It's a different, it's it's definitely different, but it's very smooth, very layerable. These are so damn close, man. I can't even tell the difference, honestly. These are extremely close, and this fragrance, I genuinely love it because of the fact that you can layer that uh, this one. It's called Woody Style. Woody Style is great, an, a great oud fragrance to layer, um, or even wear it on its own if you like oud fragrances. If you're dabbling into going into authentic smelling oud fragrances, and you want to do it on a budget for less than 25 freaking bucks, yeah, this one right here, this is phenomenal. For the price, you won't get anything better in the terms or in the realm of refined oud. Surprisingly, surprisingly smells borderline genuine. Although I'm, I'm sure at this price, there's no way in hell it's anything near genuine. Yes, NLCF. I do have COVID, unfortunately, but it is what it is. So, so far, what the takeaway from this is going to be that this is number one. 10 out of 10 for the price point, best bang for buck. Um, it's oud. It's, uh, yes, it's oud. It's, yeah, cheap. It's cheap oud, <laughs> like Woody style, except this one's expensive. It's a niche fragrance, so it's awesome. I don't even know. Like, I would still recommend this fragrance, only if it performs better. That's the only way genuinely like this is going to be an awesome fragrance for me personally because i'm going to be gifting the f out of everybody that i know that's middle eastern like this is going to be uh like i buy four of these for 100 bucks and just give it to every habib and muhammad i know so there you go perfect uh the pride porom wanted by night it's got something uh like contrasting apple a little bit of sour a little bit of sweet beautiful fragrance high compliment factor on this one as well and this one is okay. This one's okay. This is like a daily driver. If you're a teenager, if you're in your early 20s, up to like 22, 23, yeah, this is not bad, honestly, as a daily driver. All three of these are not freaking bad, considering the fact that you can pick up all three of these for less than 75 bucks before shipping and taxes, of course. Not bad whatsoever. They're all about 22, 23 bucks. So like I said, all three. Um for under 75 bucks. I will tell you guys though, that there is a Rubok Broca theorem. And even though I talked about it, since we're talking about Rube Broca, I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, if you're interested in that fragrance, there are better Tigar dupes. Um, that is a great fragrance though. It's a great fragrance, but there are better dupes for the similar price. So I would suggest that you go and check out the Bulgari Tiger Clone War and currently uh, editing, and the video is ready actually for the side effect Clone War as well. Okay, so let's get back to the chat. That's what I think about all three of these fragrances. I think that this, not think, this is definitely going to get a wear, 100%, the My Oud. And um, honestly, so is the Intense, or the Porom. Yes, Porom and My Oud are going to get wears. I don't think I'm that interested in, in wearing this, but it's definitely a good, easy, cheapy, very easy, very easy. I put that in the same category as like YSLY and things like that. So it's not a bad fragrance, just for me, I'm kind of like, not too interested in it. It is what it is. Dan, Dan, I probably would have just, it would have been the over, it, that's it, done, bro. If I lost my sense of smell, <laughs> Lord have mercy. What's up, Indah? Wa alaikum salam, Ammar. Please tell me a cardamom-based fragrance. Killer Oud, Death by Oud from Paris Corner. Beautiful. What's up, Ibrahim? First time I'm <laughs> first time live listener. I've watched so many of your videos. I dropped 650. May Allah bring it back, dog. Twice. But I hope you enjoy all of them, bro. On a new haul, and I still way more to go. Well, take it easy, pace yourself, but enjoy it, man. Ultimately enjoy it, bro. May God bless you and grant you more rizq, inshallah. And rizq means just you know, blessings, man. Is the Ode Spice Extreme coming to the US? It's here, bro. Oodstore.com, baby. Who makes Pride Oud? That's Rue Broca. All of the links are down in the description, brother. And the people that make Rue Broca, I believe, is Afnan, if I'm not mistaken. Neeb, at least you don't have a cough. I'm medicated as F, bro. Right now, I, yeah, I took a bunch of stuff. That's the one thing I don't play with. Like, 
Yes, I like to wait just so you don't like shoot your liver and stuff. But at the same time, this is like, you know, medicine is a blessing, man. Medicine is a blessing. It's the tools and, and things that God has granted us to use in times of need. So that's what I do. I waited. But yo, magic stuff right here. Where is it? The nasal sprays, man. Holy smokes. Amazing. I can't find it. Oodstore.com, brother. Oodstore.com. Use code Aromatics10 if you want to save 10% off. Have you tried all the Skepters from Mason Alamba? I have not. The only one I did was bronze, uh, Bronzite. Triple B. Appreciate you, bro. <laughs> Just being real, bro. I appreciate it, though, man. Uh, I have not. And the reason why I didn't sniff Smoking Hot by Killian is because Shisha, for me personally, like hookah, it gives me a headache. It gives me, genuinely gives me a headache because I, I smoked hookah for a long time. I don't smoke anything at all anymore. But um, yeah, I do want to get my nose on it though. I will actually. Salam, it's summer here and really hot. Would you recommend El Durham, Qaad Al Fursan, or something else? El Durham for sure, bro. It's a beautiful blend of spice, or uh, not spice, <laughs> uh, Alurom Sport. O Extreme and the Sport. More Sport, but in the beginning, you're going to get the O Extreme vibe just a little. Thoughts on Cremo Spice and Black? I've heard very good stuff about it. I just haven't had the chance to test that. If you had to pick Tafakhar or Wafa or Midnight Ecstasy, Wafa for the overall scent quality. But Tafakhar was the best enjoyment factor. Honestly, those are three heavy hitting fragrances, though, Looney. What are your thoughts on Khamr Share by Yasmin? Pretty good stuff. I wore it for one day. And it, it lasted pretty much the entire day, but I just get, I'm swamped with so much that it's like angel shares times 14 is enough. <laughs> it's a good one though. If you're thinking about it, I think you'll be pretty pleased with that one. Yes. What's up, Cheyenne? I haven't been live in a minute. I really have not. What about Dua fragrances? I just ordered 30 bottles yesterday. I have 30% discount. I have about 50 of them. A lot of their fragrances are excellent. A lot of their newer ones I haven't really gotten my hands on. So it's really hit or miss with, with those fragrances. Nibro, I'm only 20 and I can get only one cheap sweet clone fragrance. I think I already... Uh, which one did I recommend to you, bro? One sweet, go for that Odyssey Mega Man. It's 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 shower gel, it's clean and it's sweet. I think you'll really like it, bro. Odyssey Mega, Armoff Odyssey Mega. Let me type it for you, bro. Odyssey Mega. I think you'll like that one a lot. Um, Jared, I appreciate that question. He's asking, how are the developments for or on your new fragrance? As of right now, it's kind of in a standstill position. I have a couple of trips that are planned here within the next two weeks, God willing. Um, and we'll see. We'll see what happens on these trips. So really, that's what it is. There are some huge, huge plans, very big plans with the grace of God. Hopefully they come true. And we'll see, man. But I appreciate you asking. Thank you. I have not tried Afnan's Modest Un, but I heard great things about how close it is to uh, Sauvage. But I have to admit, Kronos, the ones that I've tested is literally so good that I, it just stopped me from even looking anymore. That Sheikh Zayed Blue is a beastly EDT, the original. And for me personally, I know a lot of people don't really care for Salvo Intense. I really like that one. But this is one that keeps coming up. And so for that reason, like I said, this is a review channel for the people. I actually will pick this up for sure. Yes, Infinity Rose is a beautiful fragrance, bro. Beautiful rose fragrance. And unisex. It smells the, one of the most naturalistic smelling fragrances, in my opinion, is Inicio's Atomic Rose. And that is by far the closest one. It's Mason Alhambra's Infinity Rose. Um, what do you think of Mason Alhambra's Laden compared to PDM Layton? Extremely weak, watered down. There's much better dupes. Um, if that's your only option or opportunity to get a dupe of it, I suppose it's okay. Uh, I don't know what region you live in, but there are plenty of better alternatives here in the States. There's Dusk by Woods Collection. That is the number one dupe. Then there's Amber Oud Blue Exclusive, but they're overpriced. And then there's like, I would rather get Detour Noir by Al Haramain over uh, Leiden, honestly, even though that one's not the best one. But we need you to try those Skepters. <laughs> I got you, Joe Jose. I got you, bro. Brought amber and leather. It was okay on clothes, but so pungent on skin. I don't really care. Yeah, that's why I never really reviewed it. Not because I don't like the the dupe of it. I just don't care for the ombre leather. Uh, Essence de Blanc from Fragrance World. It's beast mode. Louis Vuitton Imagination on steroids. That's what's up, man. 
Oh, you want to project like a beast. Yeah, Odyssey Mega, you will, bro. Basu. <sighs> CHMN Privé, I agree. None yet that I know of, at least. I got you, brother. Best Carlisle clone. Honestly, a true Carlisle clone. The only true Carlisle clone would be Carlisle by Fragrance World. But even then, it smells close, but obviously you're not going to have the refinement. Tafakhar and Wafa, they're more twists. Tafakhar is closer to like red tobacco with the dry down of Carlisle. But even red tobacco, I find them to be relatively similar, although there is more of like a sweetness in the Carlisle that I enjoy. But yeah. Does Tafakhar? I just answered that <laughs> surprisingly, eh? That's funny. That worked. How long have you been collecting? And... um. And how many fragrances? I own about 1,700 fragrances. Yes, disgustingly so, but not really. Because I, a lot of these fragrances I review, I've purchased about 95 to 98% of them. This is my passion. It is not, uh, which I've been able to turn into some, uh, some, uh, somewhat of a business as well. But it's a passion first. I have a full-time job or career, really, that funds all of this. So I worked hard and I went to school hard to be able to live a lifestyle that I'm now living. So, but uh, yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Thanks for the question. Odyssey Mega. Am I mad in love with Arzazat Faran Riqa before? That's what's up, man. Better better hold on to that near and dear because I'm about to check it out. <laughs> Zafaran Riqa. Let's see. What is it? Hey, all right. I got you, Vasu. It's a pleasure, bro. It is not Middle East, but I have five KDJ inspired. And to this point, they are better than any clones I've tried. <clears throat> That's what's up, bro. But Khamra using your code, loved it. Anything else with the same sweetness and quality? A lot of this stuff, if I rate them 10 out of 10, you know the quality is going to be great. Like, um, But like Khamra, I mean, it's hard to say like exactly what. You kind of just have to go with the flow and see what you like. Because I could be like, yeah, this fragrance is awesome, but... Um, if you're looking for sweet fragrances, just look for those, you know, sweet, uh, descriptors. So if you're in interested in like boozy fragrances, you should check this one out next. Maybe this is al -Fakhr. For me, this is a 10 out of 10 as of today. It's al -Fakhr, but it's a very distinct DNA. It smells a lot like the Givenchy. Uh, it has like this lipstick iris as well though. But if you're looking for something, I think that this is going to appease or appeal to the masses as well. The Ode Spice, obviously Spice Bomb Extreme. Um, this is another good mass appealing sweet fragrance. So yeah, hopefully that helps in any way, but right off the top, I'm just looking at what I have here on the table and I don't see anything that fits that category as of right now. Um, sweet. Oh, this is an awesome one, but it's unisex. It leans feminine. And I just made the video about it. I think today or yesterday affection. This is, I'm going to rock this one. I already did rock this one, but I'm going to rock it again so I can take notes and actually see how I felt about wearing this fragrance. It leans slightly feminine in the beginning. It's Hayali's Yum Pistachio 33 or whatever. It's like 67, but um, it smells amazing. Okay. It honestly, it smells so freaking good. It's got cotton candy, marshmallow, sponge sugar, whatever, blah, 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 and fruits and pistachio and chestnut. Yeah. It's honestly pretty good. Some guys are going to find that one to lean. Uh, what is it called? Uh, feminine. I will say though, if you like sweet, you definitely need Mercedes uh, Benz Club Black. And this is very close to an Arabian Oud fragrance, but the Arabian Oud fragrance I still think is better than this one. A lot of people are saying that it's better. It's not. But this thing lasts all day. Don't be fooled by the Mercedes Benz logo because I sure as hell was. Like, like, it's a Benz fragrance. Get the fuck out of here. But no, it's actually pretty good. It is actually pretty good. So, <laughs> um, Hudayf, I think I did try it, but it's been some time since. Dying for an S-Boy clone. I hear you, bro. I haven't even tried the original yet, bro. Too much hype. Too much, but... But I I, I, I think I should, honestly. Send of the Night, stronger with you, absolutely. You smell absolutely amazing, bro. Hey, all good, man. All good, no problem. I can confirm Sheikh Zayed Blue is incredible. Truly a hidden gem that nobody's ever going to talk about or fragrances like that. You're going to see a lot of that kind of stuff here for sure. Does Mozun from Ahmed al-Maghribi have a skanky type of oud? It really entices me, but I'm afraid the oud will be too much. Honestly, Looney, it's been some time. 
So I can't give you an honest answer. But what I can do is say that it's very close to Vanilla Oud by Vertus off of memory. And so for that reason, I will be picking it up, brother. I want to give you a definitive answer, but I can't give it to you with based off of speculations. Um, I appreciate it, Joel. Love you, brother. Thank you very much. I'm in H-Town, Houston, baby. That's what's up, man. Then, yeah, definitely go for Dusk on Joma Shop. It's only around 35 bucks. It'll be the best 35 bucks you've ever spent. There you go. The gentleman that was asking for Khamra, Dupe, Dusk by Woods Collection. Thank me later, bro. Straight up. Rabish Fik. Allah Falak. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. I fell in love with Detour Noir. I'm a noob, though. Hey, man, there's nothing wrong with it, bro. But if you fell in love with that, get Dusk. Yo, you, I, yeah. But it's kind of redundant, though. Ascent to save a relationship? Stronger with you? Absolutely, dog. Spice Bomb Extreme, bro. <laughs> Anything sexy, man. Just, ah. Uh. But honestly, yeah, just let it go. <laughs> uh. Supremacy not only intense, or is there something better for the price? Honestly, in that price point, it's a pretty strong fragrance. It's pretty fruity, mass appealing. It doesn't have that smokiness. It doesn't have the lemon pine soul vibe that a lot of people don't enjoy, but I do. I would say you're better off getting that fragrance. Pretty strong. I like Perlador for a good Carlisle clone. I agree. It's a good one. Pretty refined. Um, Aloha. What up, man? Hey, yes, sir. Cassius by Mason Alhambra. A little weak. A little weak. But still similar. Carlisle was stronger for me. I do remember Carlisle, the Fragrance World version, to have a bit of a dirtier, earthier patchouli. That's a distinctive memory that I have of that fragrance. But that's it. A sub, but what's happening, baby? Long time no see. Gary's Den or Kayan Classic. Two separate fragrances. One is going to be lighter and more diffusive because of that pear note, and it doesn't have like the same oud. And one is going to be a lot more polarizing and grounding and bold. So for me personally, I would go Gary's Den because Dior Homme Parfum is number one. Kayan Classic would be right after that. But if Kayan Classic is available, I would highly recommend jumping on it because it was out of stock for like four months, and it is the best DHI dupe. But I, but but before before you run out there and spend your money that you don't have, possibly don't go crazy because Kamara Omen Tense, honestly, enjoyment factor for this was a ten for me, for me personally. I love, I mean, I, I've been caking this bad boy on. I know it doesn't seem like a dent, but I have a lot of fragrances that I have to test. So, Le Mans Le Parfum, hey, I love you too, man. Thank you, bro. Big chunk right here. <laughs> I literally pull out fragrances out of my pits, bro. This is the best one, dude. La, let's see. What is this called? Essencia La Homme, Le Parfum. Surprising, st stupidly close. That's all I have to say about that. Okay. There's the name for you, brother. <clears throat> I just got Choco Musk in the mail yesterday, and it's a banger. Hey, I kicked that bad boy on and made that little reel, woke up, and it was still there the next day. You layered it. That sounds like it slaps, bro. Choco Musk with Gentleman Givenchy Reserve Privé. Boozy, lipstick, and chocolate. Fire. What up, Snow Papa? Thanks for joining the chat, brother. Welcome to the channel, homie. Appreciate you, man. Uh, Scotty Mascudi. Doesn't Mercedes-Benz smell like the new PDM? Hey, Scotty. Listen, don't don't kill me all, but I haven't even smelled Altair. I just I saw everybody and their mom smell it. I was like, all right, man, you guys need a 53rd person to tell you how it smells. I'm going to smell it. But yeah, new sub. Welcome to the channel, brother Damon. Uh, set of the day, Assad. You smell good, bro. You smell good. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Late night chat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 411 fragrance. Uh, Lance, I would like to know what of all the clones... For the other Luxudor fragrances, I haven't seen anyone cover them outside of two or three. The main ones being Loyal Agar. So that's the uh, Layton. Oh, that's the Beast Mode Layton. How the fudge did I forget? Loyal Agar is beastly. And then uh, Prince, which is the combination of Creed Aventus and Baccarat Rouge, fire. And then we've got Bye Bye Blackbird. Bye Bye Blackbird is the Chanel Platinum Ego East. And then there's also Shogun, which is supposed to be like the best Blue Day Chanel dupe. But the problem is they haven't made it. In over a year. So I haven't tried it, unfortunately. Uh, the other smoke one by Luxador, I have not tried it yet, brother. Um, tell me the difference between Jasada Ambassador and Ambassador Intense. 
Sorry, brother, that's another fragrance that I didn't jump on the hype train for. But I have to be honest, it's piqued my attention. Just saw that for sure. I need to write, start writing these down. You know what? I actually will. There's a couple of fragrances that I'm going to be picking up tonight. For review sake, obviously. Just saw that will be one of them. Test. You know what? There's Woods Collection. It's called Royal Knight. It's an amazing ombre nomad clone from Louis Vuitton. One of the best. One of the best. Yes, Jared. I appreciate all of them, man. And you, brother. Appreciate you, man. Greets from Germany. What's up, baby? Uh, what was the name of the perfect 10? It's called El Fakhr. I'll type it for you. Uh, I got this one off of Oud Store. El Fakhr. All right, let me scroll back up. Thank you for your discount. Thank you, Gabrielle, for checking me out and, and having faith in my selections. <laughs> I'm just being honest with them, bro. But hey, that's what's up, bro. I hope you enjoy anything that you pick up or whatever you picked up, bro. Any Silver Mountain Water clones besides Afnan? Um, yes, there's Siage by Club de Nuit, which is awesome. Speaking of which, there's another fragrance I saw that was brand new to Oud Store. And although this is supposed to be a dupe of Tiziana Terenzi's Gumin, G-U-M-I-N, Gumin in itself smells like a more refined version of Silver Mountain Water. Trust me on this one, okay? And this stuff is extremely freaking strong. Uh, it's it's Silver Mountain Water more refined. It's this fragrance right here. It's Gusta. And I'm talking about the Tiziana Terenzi. It smells like the Silver Mountain Water. But Gusta by Mason Alhambra is brand new. And I'm giving you guys an exclusive back look here because I haven't even done like the video on it. And this is what the fragrance looks like. And you can look up Gumin, G-U-M-I-N, by uh, Tiziana Terenzi. That's essentially what this is duping. And if you look, uh, it's not just me that thinks so. Like the first time I went to my local Neiman's and I sniffed it, it smelled just like Silver Mountain Water. And that's pretty much what this smells like. Uh, close to. I don't want to say just like. It's, it's not just like. But it's a step up, I think. More refined version. So if you're interested in that, check that one out, bro. What's up, JG? That's what's up, man. I bought Kismet Angel from Mason Alhambra. I don't even think I will even try Tuxedo. Other Mason Alhambra I should look out for with the same vibe. As of right now, I haven't really jumped into any new Mason Alhambras that were just like, wow. More so new Latafas. New Latafas have been uh, coming out pretty nice, man. Like that affection, the affection fragrance, I like it a lot. But I have to admit, one that's extremely addictive. And I know this funky bottle makes you like second guess whether or not you should buy it. But Vintage Radio is an amazing, amazing dupe of Vinicio's Paragon, this right here. And I think it's on Joma Shop for around like 35 bucks. But nevertheless, you're going to get a juicy plum, peppers, and woods. Unisex, extremely sexy, and it uses that Palo Santo, also known as Gayak Wood. Very good stuff, man. Gary's Den is only available on fragrancebuy.ca. It's, uh, it's their brand. And actually, I'm testing sometime this week, God willing, their Asylum dupe. Or Asylum, which is the Elysium. Elysium dupe. So, yeah. A new fragrance edition. I saw a comment. I'll, I'll get there in a second. Chaco must last, last a long time. Honestly, I didn't expect it to even last even two hours. When I woke up and smelled it, I was like, wow. Really enjoyed grabbing that Ghost Spectre. Very nice Ani. Lasts eight hours or longer on skin, but the fragrance world... Did perform well in that bottle, hot damn. I agree. The the initial blast on, on some of the new ones, I don't know what they put in that. Just the opening is just, what the F, bro? Hey, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Uh, I just bought three Camaro, but I wanted to try Cayenne. Thoughts? Extremely close, man. Redundancy. I fear for redundancy, but they do have slight differences. If you really like that DNA, I mean, bro, you're good with three, honestly. Unless, like I said, it's just, I just fear the redundancy. If you're wearing it every day, go for it, bro. But I'm from the D, baby. Well, I'm from D.C., but I live in uh, Detroit metro area. Brother Aromatics, Brother Elton, what's happening, bro? Do you know of any clone for By Killian's Apple Brandy on the rocks? You know, that drives me nuts. Um, that they have roses on ice, they have angel share, and I don't think they have Apple Brandy. Apple Brandy... I think that's the only one that I don't think they actually have, bro. Except Alexandria Fragrances does. 
And I've heard good things about it. It's called, I think it's called, let me see. Let me look it up really quick. It might be called Wasted, wa Wasted Moment. Wasted Moment by Alexandra Fragrances. It's going to be the closest one, bro. Is Jack of Clubs a freshie? Because I'm kind of good on those. It's not a freshie. It's somewhere in between a blue and sexy. So it's in between both of those. It's a little bit of a, it's a more versatile, sexy fragrance. It's a versatile date night fragrance. Take Lanoui de Lome, cardamom, serious, you know, mysterious, I mean, and just add shower gel. It's a very good fragrance, bro. Is it just me or not? Amber Wood by Ajmal is tuxedo, a little bit more woody note. I don't think I've tried that one, bro. I want to get more sweet fragrances. Tis the season, bro. This is my season to shine because I'm all about the, the sweeties. So you guys are going to see lists four days. I'm not the summer guy. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> but you'll see a lot. What's up, C-Mag? Good to see you, brother. Uh, let's see. Let me scroll down. Hey, God bless you for the super chat. I just picked up Amir Sidra Essence. Really liking it. And your experience, how close is it? And does it make up for... Does it make the OG purchase unnecessary? So there are certain cases where certain fragrances make it unnecessary. In this case, I don't think that it makes it unnecessary per se, but I think it'll give you a great idea of the original. It's a fantastic inspiration. It lasted for me seven hours on average. I want to say six to eight, but it's about seven hours for me. It'll 100% give you the good idea. And really to determine whether or not you want that fragrance is how much do you like Sidrat Essence? If you get to like half of the bottle of Sidra Essence, you should probably get the original, bro. Uh, unless it's out of your, your means, for sure. If it's out of your means or if you're not crazy about it, jump onto the next fragrance. But hopefully that helps in any way. Funny, I never see Joan Malone clone fragrances. They were out like crazy and then they just stopped, man. I don't know why. Sorry if I miss your, your chats. I'm, I'm trying to scroll through and get to as many as possible. How is Ice hyped? I didn't get it yet. Uh, I saw Smelly Cat's review today. I was actually listening to it. And he said it smells just like the original, but with minor tweaks. Yeah, I don't know. I will definitely review that, though. Man, I've heard a lot of good things about ATH fragrances. But because of availability and price range, I'm just I'm not excited, too excited to grab them. I don't know. Sprayed 21 times, choked by workmate in the car. <laughs> that's what's up, man. Well, no, that's not. Don't do not do that. <laughs> that's funny. Perfume Parlor has a clone, but not Middle Eastern. It doesn't have to be Middle Eastern, bro. We talk about them all, bro. Seriously. I've got plenty that are not. Speaking of, Mr. Romantic by School of Scent. He sent this to me. I'm actually extremely embarrassed because he sent this to me like three and a half months ago. And the other day I sniffed it. And then the next day I was sick. But off initial impression, it's honestly not bad, man. I know a lot of people get, give hate, like, oh, like you're trying to make my, I mean, bro, is it good or not? There are some clear, like, oh, I'm trying to do, you know, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And clearly with like simplicity and design, you know, he's following the footsteps of, you know, Jeremy Fragrance. He did good things, but this is actually a good fragrance. We'll talk about it when the time is right, but it's actually pretty good. Not bad. Especially if to support, you know, the locals. We're supporting these brands and stuff that we don't even see a face of. So for me, I, I have no problem with it. But is there a Bleecker Street clone? There is. Um, and he actually does a really good job. It's from Sammy Andraus. It's not really known. And let me see. How do you spell it? S-A-M-Y-A-N-D-R. But it's one of those, like, clone house brands. It's a small brand. Uh, last name is A N D R A U S. Let me see what the name is called of the fragrance. Little stock bottles. They're like old school style. <sighs> is it called Blue Sapphire? No, it's not. I hope he puts down the names now. BR540. Okay, he does. He does put. I think it's called Green Sapphire. Green Sapphire. And honestly, it's stronger than. Uh, that is legit. That's a legit dupe. Sammy Andraus, Green Sapphire. Boy's about to hit y'all with a banger. Toscano leather lay layered with instant crush. Ooh. Okay. Louis Vuitton vibes, eh? See multiple comments about Choco Musk fragrance. I honestly have to agree with everybody. One of my people sent me a roll-on of Choco Musk before it was in the perfume bottles. Hidden gem, 100%. Um, big up to you too, Senzo. Appreciate you, brother. Power. <laughs> Yo, he, he put out a reel today or a TikTok and he didn't he didn't uh, clean the nose. I think he's doing it on purpose, man. He loves that shit. And smart. Smart. Um, has performance not like fierce? 
Uh, I've talked about this one a little bit. Ahmed Al Maghribi. This is honestly, I'm going to make a reel about this one, a short on TikTok or something. I've been very active on TikTok, and um, I don't know why people like have such a problem. There's like this whole TikTok shop pandemic that's going on in TikTok. Everybody's like tagging every fragrance on the shop, and they're just making reels based off of that. But the funny thing is, is that I'm collaborating with affiliates to put the fragrances that I think are bangers on the shop so I can make them available and then talk about them. But uh, this one is one that I'm going to bring to the shop, God willing. Because this is a beast mode version of scent profiles like Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, um, Hollister Fragrance, Percival. If you like those and you want them in the strongest form, this is it. But borderline cloying. It's that strong. So be careful with that fragrance. You got me hyped about Affection and Raw Human. Yo, Affection is legit. Raw Human is going to be, I don't know if it's going to be for like everybody, but it's legit. It is definitely legit. Probably get my wife the Affection. Sounds like, like what she will like. Awesome stuff, man. Awesome stuff. Speaking of awesome stuff in women's fragrances, I got the brand new. This just came in the mail, I think, two days ago. And this is the brand new Sphinx fragrance. It's definitely better than the last. Uh, like horchata was okay to me. A little bit uh, too sweet. Pistachio was a little bit too sweet. This one, though, it's not Strawberry Kiss. It's called Strawberry Sugar High. I like this one more than Strawberry Kiss. Super sexy stuff. Strawberry Sugar High. But that's by Sphinx Fragrances. Hey, difference North Stag, Noof, and Berka Amber Eve, if I ever compared them. Amber Eve is stronger, but Noof smells more refined. I do have to admit that. But yeah. Tom Ford's Black Orchid. Can you describe the scent and rate it one to 10? Very earthy. There is a fruitiness to it, but the fruitiness of it is very um dark and rich and earthy. Again, like I said, it's that truffle. The truffle just. It's not for everybody, man. Marco, I would highly suggest you go and try that one first. Uh, if you don't like going to public and stuff, but <laughs> then try out the dupe of it, the cheapest dupe, which is the uh, Oud 24 Hours, the black one. Um, personally, I wouldn't rock it, but some it's polarizing. But the people that rock it and can rock it, my God, it smells amazing on them. It's like aphrodisiac vibes. It smells like, like stank, like stank, stank, like stank. So for the people that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's the kind of fragrance that it's around. So some people, they, they can rock it, man. Some people, they can't. It rocks them. So that's what it smells like to me. Stank. Brother Aromatics, have you gotten your nose on the Parfum Vintage Twist on Aventus? I have not. I've heard a lot of good things about that. I've heard a lot. Bironi Eclat. I, ha I have not tried a single Bironi. I saw that they were, uh, they were spoken of a lot the last month or so. Uh, bro, I got you. Okay, so uh, Best Warlord says, first fragrance I fell in love with was Armani Code Absolute. Still waiting for a clone. All right, so I was saving this one. but And a lot of people didn't. Um... <laughs> yeah, man, me too. <laughs> me too. But um, so this is not distinctively Armani Code Absolute. Okay, so take that out of your head. But, but it smells like, take Armani Code Absolute and just... Throw it into like a, 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 a mug full of liquor. It smells like an extremely boozy version of Armani Code Absolute. I wish it was here on the desk, but it's not. It's the new Exposed by Fragrance World. The poor unisex. Let me just double check. Poor unisex. At first, at one point, I was like, mm, this kind of smells like a mix between pure malt. Uh, poor unisex. Where is it? Excuse me, guys. Sorry for the sniffling. Let me just double check where I can source it for you. Um, seriously? Where is it? Poor unisex. There it is. Okay, it is on tripletraders.com. It's the... I don't see it on Triple Traders. That's weird. Expose. It's called Expose unisex fragrance there's no point in talking about it if it's not available but hopefully it is fragrance world yes it is available they do have it so it is the um you'll be able to tell from the the color gradient it kind of looks like armani code profumo but it actually smells much more like 
fragrance shop has it for like 38 triple traders 44 you can use the code whatever and wherever you can get it from but anyways expose unisex by fragrance world smells like armani code absolute just drowned in liquor though it is extremely boozy but it has that distinctive like tonka bean leather dryness in the undertone as well super sexy stuff man if you're looking for armani code absolute I have the video ready. It hasn't released yet, but grab it uh, if you, that's what you're into, bro. And let me know what you think about that one. I genuinely, genuinely want to know. Still doing a side effect clone comparison? Yes, sir. That is already recorded. So it should be coming out within the next four days, max. Bound is an amazing clone of uh, Profumo, though. It has that distinctive mandarin, but an excellent fragrance. Bound by Sapil, sub 20 bucks or sub 25 absolute must have absolute is fire it is really nice i was gonna dress as a pineapple for halloween what should i wear <laughs> or noof by paris corner it's stronger that's funny as hell man brioni line fire really i'm gonna have to check it out man i'm gonna have to check it out yep skanky and stanky bro <laughs> not for everybody bro uh that's funny as hell for some reason, I'm into riffs recently. Hey, look, man, they've got this is the issue. I feel like they're they they've got a lot of older fragrances that are still not the best, but they have so many new fragrances that are legit. And I've noticed that I put them on the shelf and I haven't really touched them, but you will see more of them more recently. Portofino Noir is excellent, honestly. It outlasted the original. Avant Garde is nice. I wish I got a little bit more performance. Um and there's a couple of more, actually. This is the one that I was recommending by Riffs, the Gucci Guilty Black. This is called Anna Asali. This is an, a great one. And then they have some My Perfumes. There's a white one. But I didn't see it on their website, so I called them up. I was like, what's up, man? This smells amazing. And so it's going to be coming in sometime next week. So it's uh, My Perfume Select. It's a white bottle. Sometime next week, I'll introduce it, and we'll talk about that one. I got it back when it was still in stock. I guess it went out of stock, and it should be coming back soon. Cloud del Forsan, it's not the best performer, but the just enjoyment factor of that fragrance for me was ecstatic. Like, I love that stuff, man. I did minimum of 12 sprays, bro, period. Like, just no ifs, ands, or buts. But uh, Noof, which is spelled N-O-U-F, is stronger and longer lasting for sure. Yes, I have smelled Rosendo Mateo number five, and I, I really enjoy that fragrance. I think it's the more wearable uh, fragrance in between Baby Cat YSL and... And the, the, you know, Rosanna Mateo number five reason being is because that suede accord is not for everybody. It kind of comes off like a little bit of a gasoline accord. It still smells really nice. Um, but this is a great inspiration of Rosanna Mateo number five as well. It's called Rouge five by fragrance world. What the heck? It seems like every fragrance that we talk about, I just have it in my pocket. <laughs> I love it, man. Freaking love it. Yes. Portofino Noir is nice. You have it. That's awesome, bro. That is awesome. Carlos, try Perfumo. Uh, do you still like Wafa? I do still like it. I haven't worn it in quite some time because I'm testing, but I do still like it, man. Latafa Fakar versus Mason, yeah. Um, quality of scent, Mason, yeah. Longevity, Fakar. I would love a review on Bath & Body Works. Their lotion... Yeah, man, they've got some good lotions. Woo, I wanted to sneeze. My God, no, don't go away. Look up into the light. Ah, it's gone. Um, so Bath and Body Works, I actually had a home fragrance, and it was called Into the Stars, I believe, and it smells just like Baccarat Rouge 540. Let me just double check. Bath and Body Into the, into the Stars. Yep, Into the Stars. The lotion... The hairspray, the body spray, the wall plugs into the star smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. For those of you, ladies and gentlemen, that want to use that as a layering option. That's a great fragrance to layer with. I need to get my hands on Baby Cat. Yeah, man, you like suede, man. It smells like you're in a suede factory with a lot of vanilla. Adolf Hassan has that pineapple smell to it, too. For sure, bro. Fire. Are they at Saks? Brioni? I did not know. No way. So this is what I get to see when I drink coffee too late. Ah, there you go. <laughs> yep, I'm here. Where did you learn Arabic, man? Um, from my family. I also went to a private school when I was in D.C. We know people. Connections. 
<laughs> yeah, I went to a private school, a uh, Saudi private school. Never ignoring you, fat shady. What's up, baby? I might have overscrolled your uh, your thing, bro. My apologies if I didn't see you, bro. Tiziana Terenji deals on Joma Shop. Any that you recommend? Let's see. Let's freaking see. Uh, fat shady, if you have a question, bro, just ask it again. I'll do my best to ignore you again. <laughs> JK Terenzi. Let's see. I didn't know they had a sale. Oh, they do. Okay. Mm, Cure K for 95. Average. Let's see. Orion is a good one. Decent. 125. Not bad. Ursa. Butthole Oud. 115. I might, gra eh. I might grab it. I might. But it's straight up butthole. Oh, dude. Lodano Nero. If you guys like Tobacco Oud by Tom Ford. Lodano Nero is $79.99 right now, but it's for a tester. So it could possibly be without the cap. But Tobacco Oud by Tom Ford is discontinued. Never again. Bye-bye. This is the closest thing to it. Um, yeah, I'll probably post a link later on in the community tab about it as well. Other than that, let's see. Deluxe, meh. Gold Rose Oud, okay. Draco, got a couple of those in the in the safe. Um <laughs> Lodano Nero, a full bottle is 95. That that tester deal is a deal. But you don't get the presentation. Oh, by the way, Gumin, the clone that this is uh, inspired by, is going for 175. This, about 50, maybe, maybe. And, oh, let me show you what this is. This is the Mason Alhambra's Gusta. Me Gusta. Okay. Let's see what else, what else. Cantario, El Cantario, overhyped. I have this one, Alcantario. It's like a vanilla fragrance. It's all right. Uh, Borio, Arrakis, no. Oud. Nero Oud is not bad. 124 is not bad, but it's not going to be for everybody. Mm. Chimera, no. Aphrodite, no. Foco Nero, no. Ecstasy Draconis. I don't really see anything that I would be like, yo, you got to get this. Lily Pure, no. I actually have that one. I, I'm going to be giving away a couple of these Tizianas that I have. Like uh, El Contario, I'll be giving that one away. Um, Maremma, I also have this one. I'm going to be giving that one away. And I have Lily Pure. No more space for them. And they're not really that enjoyable for me. So let's see. That's what's up, man. Rare and overpriced. Check out my fragrance, C-Mac. Oh, wait, you already did. Sent you the discounter. Get this frag, bro. Which one? Check it. Which one? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? I don't see. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. Here. I gave that Milano Privia a couple of full wares. And I said, oh, shit. Okay. It's that good, huh? All right. I'm going to do what I got to do right now. I got to write these down ASAP. So Milano Privia. If it's that good, wrote it down. All right. Let's scroll down. I have Renheit versus Dior Parfum side by side. It's good, but the fragrance world needs maceration for the most part. So I'm waiting on judgment. It's a 100% real, bro. Uh, I'm not. I'm not saying it, like I'm sure you know, but um, a lot of these fragrances, like designers, middle uh, niche, and all that, they give months before they come out. These dupes, man, they're like fill, send, fill, send, fill. And a lot of these companies, I mean, even when I was creating my fragrance with Sphinx, they were like, uh, no, we're not, we're not, it's not ready for sale. I'm like, what are you talking about? They're like, yeah, three months at least. So definitely. Black Phantom by Killian. The best one is called um, Dark Knight by Alexandria Fragrances. I swear that is the best one. God, I love that fragrance. Rave Now is amazing as well. Yeah. 35 spot on banger. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop putting you up there because I gotta grab me a bottle. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Thoughts on Fragrance World Barricat X Straight. God bless you for the super chat. Uh Fragrance World X Straight, the red. Worth going for a CDN untold instead. I don't really like the red. Honestly, I don't really like the red. I would say yes, it's better to go for untold instead. It's it's uh, more refined for sure. Damn good. That's what's up. Appreciate it, R3C. Thank you very much for your generosity. God bless you. Um, BP for 139 Bamboo Harmony. Are you talking about, oh, you're talking about the Killian fragrance? Yes, it is on Aroma Concepts for sure. 
I dropped my imagination by Louis Vuitton on my carpet, right? How about when I tried to spray it, little splats was coming out. I was pissed. Oh, hell no. I'll take it right back. Be like, yo, look out. <laughs> Do your thing, man. This ain't working right. Malfunction. You better take that stuff right back, bro. See if they can swap your atomizer for you, bro. You probably, you, that's a pretty penny, man. Cherry Cola is pretty close to Tonka Cola. It's not as fizzy, but it's the closest interpretation of it for sure. It's right here. And it's actually really nice. If you, if you enjoy this DNA though, this is one that I think you should get the real one, honestly, if you enjoy this one. It's not going to be for everybody though. This is going to be nice for the fall time though. It's got like cherry, uh, fuzzy, and also, uh, carbonated vibes but yeah is joelle a safe blind buy i don't know man joelle can be redundant sometimes but that's just how i feel <laughs> uh me looking through 300 samples that's funny thoughts on two door i haven't tried that one how's every frag chat mentioned within arm's reach i don't know bro i swear to god i don't know <laughs> isn't it crazy that's crazy what should we expect winter middle eastern list as soon as um as soon as this week really a cup i have a couple of lists i've got the part two for middle eastern cheap oud fragrances this isn't even a part of it so there will be part three four five and god willing more um yeah the mancera is more soto ish yeah it is more carbonated for sure that this one seems like a going flat while that one is like fresh Cedar is finally shipping worldwide. I'll get Montana and sell my sweet bottle. That's what's up, man. My suit bottle. That's what's up. Um, trying to find PDM clones for mainly Greenly and Wajan. Any help? Even Layton, please. Yes, Wajan. There's Legion by Fragrance World. I think it's a great dupe. Greenly, unfortunately, Midori is not in stock. I haven't tried it either. And Layton, there's plenty of them. I would recommend you check out my Clone War, even though it's a pretty old one. Uh, the number one I would say is Dusk by the Woods Collection, for sure. Try Rue Broca Hooked. You will love it. Will do. Yes, I am the King. Nuit d'Orient. Yeah, this is the um, the one Luminous Night. Dolce, no, uh, Nuit d'Orient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Armani Code Profumo. Nuit d'Orient. Yes, that's a great... No, yes, I am the King Nui Dorient. That is the, that's the Dolce & Gabbana, the one luminous night. It's a great one. It's a great one. But I just didn't really talk about it too much because the one from Fragrance World is just as good, honestly. And it's cheaper. This one's a little bit pricier. Planning a trip to Dubai? I'll see you there. Do you have any recommendations on frag shops I should visit? Not at the moment, bro. I'm not too familiar with uh, the shops there right now. I have not tried it, Ammar. Uh, man, this one is mind blowing. I promise you try it and thank me later. I got you brother honor from spirit of Kings. Okay. We'll check that one out. Alexandria has a good Wajan clone. I think. Okay. Awesome. I haven't tried it. A haired clone that actually performs Hercules is weak, bro. It is weak. Um, I've heard great things about the Alex Alexandria kills it, man. Like this isn't just hype. I swear they kill it with their dupes. Um, it's called Blueberry Musk <laughs> by Ibrahim Al Qureshi. Uh, so Ibrahim Al Qureshi with a Q. Oh my God, which one, bro? Let me see. Fat Shady. I have not. Licham Licamu Save Elixir. I have not. I have. I've got to check that. How does that one compare to Enigma Un? That's what I'll be. Com you know. Um, yeah. Fragrance World Moonlit is good. It is. Tell me the fragrance of Latafa's Badi Al Oud, Honor and Glory. I genuinely believe that that is a Kayali fragrance as well. Which one? I'm not 100% sure. I don't get Ani vibes in Hachivat, but I can get how people are getting that because it has a little bit of similarities. But um, it's the time. There's time in it. It's not ginger. I'm not sure exactly which one, man, but... In my opinion, just the way things have been going, I really don't know. That's my answer. I really don't know. Thank you very much, Joel. Barada King. Never tried it. 
pretty expensive, no? I'm not sure though. I haven't tried it. Um, which fragrance do you reach? Did <clears throat> which fragrance do I reach for most recently? Honestly, I have to try something new every day. But this last week, what I found myself going to the most, and I swear it's not just uh, talk. These two. But I mean, like I said, I'm testing every week, every day, literally almost every day. But there are some days this week where I was sick and like I just I couldn't even like think straight. And I would go for this, actually this more than this. But I would definitely go for both of these. Honestly, I, I get away with rocking this in the gym. I go like four sprays. I've gotten so many compliments while wearing this, even at the gym. But yeah. Have you tried Cremo Spice and Black? I have not. But honestly, after this uh, Mark and Victor dupe, I'll try it. I'll try it. I haven't tried Enigma Un yet. I love it, man. Barrett and King Fragrances are coming up on Alexandra. That's what's up. May God grant them more success, bro. Hard work and quality. That's what it's all about. Planning to buy Oud for Glory, Khamra, Qaid, the suits, Ijazi Silver. Ijazi Silver might be a letdown. Maher Gold. Maher Gold might be a letdown. Um, what order should I buy in? I think you have the order in pretty good, except I would put Khamra number one, personally. Um, I put Khamra number one, leave everything else same. And Jazzy Silver is pretty weak. I would rather you, me personally, I would rather go with Jack of Clubs because it's like that same line we blue electric vibes, much stronger. Maher Gold, I, I, I do not like at all. That's what's up, man. I hope you enjoy it, bro. Hooked. It's like Scandal EDT with some lime. Ooh, sounds fire. God bless you, Kai Trimble. Always a pleasure to see you. What's up, man? I'm getting Remember Me Black and a try. Remember Me Black. Forget Angel Share. Straight up. Remember Me Black. Yeah. And Attractive. I don't think I was crazy about Attractive, but I don't really remember. From Atiaba Sheikh Soon, seen on Oudwood is on Michigan. Have you been in store yet? Plenty of times. Yes, man. I have been, and I'm affiliated with them, actually. I have the uh, coupon code is Aromatics. You can save 5%. Good guy, too. Good store. Uh, have you tried Latafas Hayati? I have. Very nice cheapie for every day. School, gym, office, everything. 18, 16. Uh, yeah, that one's a uh, ageless, timeless. Orto Parisi's Mega Mare. I'm not particular on those salty fragrances, aquatics. I can't really give you the best answer for this one. Um, I can't really give you the best answer for this one. I apologize. I've heard a lot of stuff about the Aroma Concepts one, the Paris Corner one, but that's about it. Do you like Baron from Cedra? Love it. Extremely aromatic, though. Extremely. I will have a, a, a video that uh, I'll have all four of those, the Luxury Collection, and do like a comparison between all of them and which one I think are the best and, and line them up. And I will do the same thing for the Grand Collection. The only one that I didn't enjoy from the Luxury Collection is the white one, Angelo. I could not vibe with that one at all. <laughs> At all. There you go. Hunter Killer or Exclusive Tobacco. Exclusive Tobacco smells better quality, but they're pretty different. I love Hunter Killer. So I will say Hunter Killer. Barada King is moderate price. I got a small bottle thinking it was Kajal. <laughs> That's funny, bro. I just checked and that save elixir is 19 bucks. Damn. Please send me the link. What's up, Abishan? Yes, you sure did. I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping this up, actually. Hamra is so loud and amazing. That's what's up. Hey, Jazzy, it doesn't last long, but it smells good. You are absolutely right, Lance. Jack of Clubs fixes both. Well, there you go. 44 on Amazon right now. That's what's up. I wear a Jazzy Silver to sleep. Honestly, that's something that I've done before just because it doesn't last, but it smells good. Um, yeah, bro, like very, very sweet milky coffee. Check out Paris Corners Eternal Coffee. I personally don't like that super sweet milky coffee scent, but if you do, I think you'll like that one. I follow your recommendation about Dusk by the Woods Collection for the best latent dupe, bro. You're right, it's far better than Detour Noir. Yes, sir. I'm so happy you enjoy it, man. 
I got that poker face by Ted Lapidus. Great under the radar, Lanui Delome dupe with much better performance than the OG. Facts. I'm glad it's it turned out that way for you. After effect. I'm hoping to God that it's in stock, man. I got you, bro. Uh, send me the name. Uh, let me see. What is it? You wrote it already. Save Elixir. Save Elixir. Save Elixir. All right. Armin, for me, was very strong, man. I mean, it was ridiculous siage. That's for me, bro. Like, I hope to God it's the same for you, but I, they're dupes. I can't, I can't guarantee it, bro. But like designers and stuff, you can, I can almost always guarantee what I get is what people are going to get because quality control, uh, equal maceration time, equal maturation time. But, you know, would you get Khayali's Oodgasm series? I've thought about it. Winter cheapies list, please. I got you, brother. Neve got me on the hunter killer fire stuff. Sometimes I swear to God, to this day, I still get that cherry vibe. Sometimes I don't get it. Sometimes I get it. It just means that I think that it's just a cheap ass fragrance that sometimes smells like this quality. It sometimes smells like an actual good, like it is what it is, bro. It's funny. Best nutty frag for under 50, for under 50 off non ornament. It's a little nutty. In my opinion, it has that nutty vibe. Um, yeah, yeah. Three recommendation are Oud fragrances niche. Um, sure. Fragrances that I love. I'm telling you, Woody style is awesome. It's a Oud fragrance that you can layer. So this is going to be like the base, uh, Oud. If you just want to smell like clean, it's not clean though. It's animalic, but Middle Eastern definition of clean Oud. This is going to be it. It's a little bit watery. It's smooth. It's like cashmere and oud. That's what it smells like. Super polished, slightly animalic oud. Okay. That's going to be woody style by Arabian oud. The next one I would recommend, although I'm not particular towards this type of oud, it's still one that's extremely strong and people love. Think of like ombre nomad without the raspberry. And this is blue oud by Ibrahim al Quraishi. It's straight up dry, inky ass woods. So strong, but extremely polarizing. It also has a hefty dose of leather and tobacco in the base. I mean, eternal though, eternal. I'm not crazy about this. And I think that this is a fragrance that, um, although it has a lot of hype, I don't want to say it doesn't deserve it because performance is excellent. The scent DNA for what it's doing is also excellent. And for the price point, yeah, Blue Oud is, is where it's at. It's good for over like for 125, 150 even. It's honestly really good performance wise. Uh, so you have Woody style, you have Blue Oud, and Woody style you can get on Joma Shop for like sub 100 bucks. Um, and then another Oud fragrance. Well, you want something niche, like real niche. I would honestly recommend you check out my per one of my personal favorite, and this can be a standalone. Um, it's somewhere in the back there, but it's called Oud Elite Elite Blend. This is animalic. It's creamy sandalwood and Indian oud. Oud elite elite blend. Let me just double check. Yes. Um, and on and on uh, eBay right now, it's going for a buck twenty, which is not bad, but super creamy, sexy, eternal lasting oud. I love this stuff, man. But it's for the oud lovers only. All right. Hopefully that answers. Maturation is true for the European fragrance dupes as well. Amazing how much stronger they get after a month or so. I honestly was not a believer. I swear to God, I was not for like the first four months that I was like really diving into dupes. And then I'd come back to them. I'd be like, almost every single one of them plays that way. Somebody help me get dusk. <laughs> uh, live streams, love streams, sounds dirty. <laughs> Hunter Killer Jungle is, is good. Not better than the red bottle though. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I got the old Sapil Bound. I'm glad you got it, bro. It smells amazing. Where can I get the dusk? Um, Joma Shop, bro. Any fragrance similar to Oxygen? When they find a dupe for it, I'll let you know, bro. <laughs> morning from London. Good morning. I feel you at Joel. The only Oud perfume I love is is uh infinity rose it's like flowers jam with a little oud it's barely there but sure 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up at an hour and 20 minutes. I love you guys. Thank you guys for contributing. This was awesome. It was fun. Um, hopefully, I answered as many questions as there were asked. And if not, I apologize. And hopefully, in the next one, I will definitely try to get to you. Uh, if you have a hard time reaching me, try and reach me at, at all of my other socials. I'm pretty active on TikTok now. Uh, a lot of shorts. Also, Instagram as well, where it's Aromatics RRT on TikTok and Aromatics underscore Neeb. So good night. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. God bless and be safe out there, y'all. Have a good one.